Abby here with Scrap and Abby, and I'm here with my first ever Office Max slash Office Depot haul. So I went to that um, Office Depot, I'm just going to call it that, for um, some school supplies for my daughter. She won't be here in Florida until July 25th, actually the 26th, because she flies overnight, but I wanted to get a few some basic supplies for her. She's going to be a junior, so how high school works is that you don't get a traditional supply list like you do in grade school, middle school. So um, after the first day of school, she'll get a list from her teachers listing out specifically what items she needs, but I wanted to get a few basic things just for now before everything was gone. So her favorite color is teal, as you can probably guess, because there's quite a bit of teal spread out. And of course, I found some things for mom <laughs> as well. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of get started because I've got things all over my table, some things you can't even see over there and over here. So we'll just kind of get going. So the first thing I found, and everything was on sale. Everything I found was on sale or clearance. Everything. So that was even better. So um, the first couple things I found, these were over um, in the school supply section, of course. They had a specific different lines and different, you know, brands set up. This is from D Devo Devoga. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. But it's a two-pack mini writing journal. So I grabbed um, just three. And then these packs are the same. But one side is pink with uh, gold polka dots. The other is teal with gold stripes. So I got these for her. Um, she'll probably just want to use the teal ones. Whatever ones she doesn't want to use, I will, of course, just put into my travelers, uh, my Foxy Dory Traveler's Notebook that I have. And then I grabbed this one for her, teal, and then kind of a hot pink. So those are to use as she, you know, needs to for school. And let's see, uh, da, 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 kind of get to layers here. So these are um, kind of all the same thing because these were in the same section at the store. These I think were a couple dollars each. So I thought these were cool. They were on sale. It's just kind of a tchotchke thing, but I thought she'd get a kick out of it. It's the Office Depot fast food erasers. And they had different ones, but the two I picked out was this one. It's got a hamburger and like a soft drink. And that's supposed to be a hot dog. You can kind of see it on the side there. I just thought that was so stinking funny. And then the fries are underneath the hamburger there, so you can't really see it. But I thought these were so cute, and I thought she'd get a kick out of them. More of, like I said, just more of a tchotchke than anything else. So I thought those would be fun. And then the other one I grabbed kind of for me and for her, because these are all erasers, by the way. I love turtles. I've loved turtles for a super long time, and I like kind of all things kind of turtle. And so I thought this was super cute nice little cute turtle on there and then I thought it was kind of comical because now we live in Florida so of course we have alligators um, all over the place um, thought that was kind of cute and then this last one is just like this little dolphin so you know kind of like uh, what is it that they have in Orlando um, SeaWorld I thought it was kind of cute I thought it was like really Florida themed I thought so I grabbed uh, one pack of that and then let's see here these are also racers as well um, or this is an eraser. This looks like a, you know, a sucker like I would get at the coast or something or, you know, a really cool candy shop. So this is a really cool eraser and that's just another purple tchotchke thing to put in Abby's craft room because that's just how I am. These um, little bears are, I believe, um, a pen or pencil. I can't tell. Um, I think it might be a pencil. I don't know. I can't tell. But um, these are super cute. I didn't know if my dog would, daughter would want these or not. Like I said, she's almost 17, so it's not like she wants little kid-looking things or whatever. But, you know, if she doesn't want it for herself, then I'll just stick it in my pen collection that's ever-growing in my craft room. thought that was kind of funny, cute. And then these, um, this is also a pencil, or excuse me, a pencil with this really cool kind of uh, floral eraser. So that, of course, is for me to put in my room with my purple stuff. So, so cute. Put it in there right now, matter of fact. And then I grabbed this one for me because this is like a double-headed eraser with a pen, a pencil. I thought that was pretty funny. And um, there's that one for me, and this one's for my daughter too. So I thought that was cute and fun. Just some kind of fun little goofy things to pick up. And they were um, on the sale. Those were those were like I think less than a buck a piece or something. So part of this other collection that's um, D Voga, I guess. I didn't see D on that first part. What was that first thing I grabbed and shared with you? These notebooks. Let me see. They did say that. How come I couldn't pronounce it right? Devoga. I can't remember what I said. I'm sorry, ladies. It's been a really long day. I've been crafting and packaging up orders and things like that. And I wanted to get this haul video done because my craft room is a total mess. So um, this is just like a plastic um, kind of an envelope. It's really super cute. So I got that for my daughter because of the color. And then it opens up and then she's got a place to put 
you know, anything she wants to, note cards, whatever. And there's also, it's a poly snap envelope. And there's also a little pocket here in the back side. So I grabbed one of that in her color and then three in the white. I looked for the lavender and they didn't have any. I was so bummed because I totally would have had for myself. So I grabbed these four for her. If she doesn't, doesn't find a use for them for schoolwork or anything else she can think of, then um, she'll probably just kick it back to me. And then of course I can use them for just, you know, craft and planner, sticker storage, things like that. So that was really cute. And then for Mama here, um, I saw this display and I about fell over because there was so much lavender and lilac. I was like, oh my word. But they didn't have those plastic poly envelopes. This is absolutely beautiful. And this is more than I would probably ever pay for a planner, or excuse me, a ruled notebook. This was like, I think six or seven bucks. And it's not even full size. You can see it's college ruled 96 sheets. So I was like, oh, do I buy this? You know, um, cause everything was under 10 bucks, but still this, I think that's a lot to pay for just a smaller, ruled notebook but how could I leave this there I mean look at that adorable gold bow that is on the top of that notebook it's just so pretty and the polka dots and the gold coil I just love it and I love anything that's packaged like it makes you feel like you're getting something really special you know because nobody can touch it <laughs> so I grabbed that for me just to kind of put in my um my personal crafty planner stash. I gotta clear some space here, ladies. Give me just a second here. Okay, and then part of the other collection is this notepad, and it's got the gold foiling on the top, and then it's the lined purple sheets, and this is also part of the Devoga Junior Legal Pad, 50 sheets on that one, and this is um, really cute. They had a ton of different things. I only grabbed a few things. I didn't grab it all, um, just because, you know, I can't justify having you know well, the equivalent of having a stationary store in my craft room this was super adorable this also was pricier than what i wanted to pay but um i thought it was super cute heaven knows i have enough um, pencil pouches and things like that but this is so cute i love it and i like that it. it's a really thick kind of a plastic and i love the faux leather scalloping right here and this nice gold zipper and it's really nice and heavy and it's just really nice and smooth and I just got a really cool place to put some stickers, pens, anything like that. Especially like when I go to, um, when I have to spend days in bed because of my trigeminal neuralgia and anesthesia dolorosa pain, I will take supplies with me to either journal or sketch out project ideas or, you know, color in my different coloring books, that kind of stuff. So I thought that would be kind of fun to kind of help lift my spirits because it is purple and it's so pretty. This is also part of that Devoga line. I thought this was gorgeous. They had they had like file folders, bottom pocket folders. They had this beautiful marbling kind of a pattern. They had some that were um, solid pink, some were solid teal, and some were solid gold, but no solid lavender. So I didn't grab any of those. But this is really pretty, I thought. So and this is just, um, you know, some lined paper that I, again, can use for some journals and um, general, you know, handwriting type of practice and things like that. Um, oh, I guess I grabbed two of these. Here's another one. I didn't realize I grabbed a couple for my daughter. So this is um, mostly what's right here is for my daughter. This was in the Devoga collection as well. This is a 2016-17 weekly planner, weekly monthly planner, and it's academic. It goes from July to June, which is perfect because she starts school in August here and has all the months, as you can see. It's got this really cool pocket here in the front in that fly leaf and then it kind of goes into um let me flip to the first page here and this is like really nice and slick it won't tear real easy so they have the yearly over overview here for 2016 and it goes down into 2017 and then the first page has like some the personal information and then there's a few pages of dates to remember which i think would be great for her to write down tests or different you know school functions volleyball whatever and then this is the yearly planner and it's got each month broke out here and then he starts right into July, and this is the overview here. And we'll see what the next page looks like. I was trying to look at this quickly because there was quite a few people trying to look around my shoulder, so I wanted to make sure I got the right one. But this is um, what each page looks like, and it just goes, like I said, June to July, ending June, first of July, and it just looks like that through the rest of the month. And then each month after that is, is kind of the same format. So we'll get to the back, and I'll show you what the back looks like get it here quickly da, da, da. okay so we end on June so in the after the calendar year is over when it goes through June um, the first of July it's going to it goes right into where it has oops sorry I 
didn't flip over far enough. It has a, cu a couple contacts page, which is cool for her. I know it's the digital world now. She probably just has all of her friends' names and phone numbers in her phone, but sometimes it's nice to write things down as well. She could do it also for colleges. She will be a junior this year, and she's um, been invited to be um, a member of the National Honor Society. Yes, I'm uh, a proud mama here, plugging my daughter. And this is the notes section here, so she might want to write those kinds of things down here for college, scholarship information, you know, things about the Honor Society, whatever, and not have it just loose or like in her phone or whatever. So there's quite a few pages just for notes. And then the back page has important dates. So it's got all kinds of different holidays and, you know, both international and here in America. And then on the back, it has a really cool map. It's area codes and time zones. So it includes, oops, Abby, it includes that as well. So thought that was really really cool I still cannot believe that we made wait a second why does this look upside down what am I doing wrong here oh I had it right side up the first time sorry ladies I didn't I don't know what I'm doing I'm looking in the viewfinder and I'm getting myself all backwards so it's still really surreal to me that we moved from Oregon here which is where I was born and raised all the way down to Florida. We live in central Florida now. It's just crazy to me. And it's been fun because lots of people are like, oh my gosh, you're from Oregon. We heard it's really beautiful there. And I'm like, yes, it is. It's a beautiful, beautiful green state, but I'm loving life in Florida. And that is the back cover. Obviously matches the front, except for the 2016-17. So I thought that was really fun. So I'm hoping she's going to enjoy having that planner to use for her um, school year. This I thought would be kind of cool to hang up in her room. This is um, from the same line to Fogut. Again, it's an academic calendar. I won't make you flip through all the pages again because it's pretty much the same. I'm going to be redoing her room for her, actually getting it set up before she gets here. So I'll have some videos about that. That calendar will be part of that um, display. This is just your basic pencil pouch, but it's her color. So I wanted to grab one of those because she's always needing a new one every school year. And then um, this is kind of more for me in the packing sense for craft projects when I mail out projects to customers or send out happy mail, things like that. This is just some really cool um, masking tape that's in purple. This um, I thought would be kind of fun to maybe put on when I mail out pocket letters and things like that. And then these are just from Scotch. I'll probably use these more in the crafting planner stuff. Um, I don't typically buy these because I think they're way overpriced because you can get washi tape for so much cheaper. But they have these on sale. So I grabbed a couple rolls because they were, they were um, I don't remember how much they were, but they were way less than what they normally are. This is a really cool scene. I like it. It looks like it's just like a, you know, pictures of a hometown, you know, and it's got like a little fair and there's like a church and like a lighthouse or whatever. It's like a little Ferris wheel or something there. And then this other one is super adorable. It's just some little cats sleeping, sitting up, look like they're stretching and playing and pawing at stuff in this really cute pink background with red polka dots or darker pink polka dots. It's really super sweet. So I grabbed that. And um, when you purchase, actually I'm going to get to these in a second because they go with what I need to tell you later. So this was like I think a dollar or something and I don't need a calculator but it's purple and it's glittery. Hello, it's going home with Abby. So it was so cute. It was in the front and they had all different kinds of colors. I didn't grab one for my daughter because she needs um, a scientific calculator. She's like an uber smart kid. So this is for mom. It's just real basic. <laughs> so that's what I got for me to put in my craft room. If I ever need to calculate something quickly and I don't want to whip out my phone or whatever. And then um, for some pens, I grabbed this pack of the Paper May Ink Joy and it's the gel pen. And this is for my planner and for all my journaling that I do and it's got a comfortable grip. So I thought that would be really kind of fun to add to my pen collection because I don't have this gel pens for Paper Mate yet, at least the Ink Joys. These right here were I think ooh, a dollar a pack, something like that or less. So I grabbed this for my daughter. I don't know if she's going to need a compass at all for, you know, like her trig class or anything this year. I don't know, but I wanted to grab some because I have one in her colors, uh, the colors that she likes. And that, then I grabbed a plain black and gray one just in case she doesn't want this one. Like if it's too matchy-matchy, I don't know if she's going to want that. So, and these are only a buck. It wasn't a big deal. Whatever one she doesn't use, I can donate it to the school district. Um, or give it, have her give it to a classmate who may need one or something. And I've got lots of nieces and nephews in my family, so I can totally send any supplies we don't use back home to my family. So it will not go to waste, that's for sure. And then I found this really cool calculator case. 
because it's about the size of the case that she'll need and that way it'll stay protected because these things are not cheap they're like over 100 bucks the calculators i mean and so i thought this was really nice it's a really nice foam ne neoprene i think is what it's called and it's got little um, I forget what they call these. I'll remember as soon as I turn the video off, but I forget what it's called. Um, but they use them like on, you know, lanyards and hikers, and I forget what they're called, but it has that on there. She can hook that onto her backpack or however she wants to carry it. So I thought that was nice and just pretty, pretty generic. And then I also found underneath the other, um, I almost said stethoscope, under the other compasses, they have these packs. So this was, I think, four bucks or five, I can't remember. So I grabbed this kit thinking maybe she would want all of the components that comes in this. And it's a 10-piece math kit, and you can see right there what all items come in it. So if she chooses to use this, then the other two I shared with you, I can pass those on to um, family or some kids here in our town. And then I got grabbed this other one for me. It's purple. I love it. So of course I grabbed it because there are a lot of times I do projects where I need to have like the compass or some different size rulers. So this will go to use for me, of course, in my craft room. So I grabbed one for her and one for me. And then let's see. Let me get to let me get these out of the way first because I gotta move some bigger stuff. So this was also on sale, 10 bucks. I do have the smaller one that works for like the personal A5 or the personal and the A5 planners, but I wanted like a standard desktop version hole punch. So this is um, desktop punch precision pro adjustable punch heads and it's um, 10 sheet capacity which is cool because I like to make a lot of my own inserts for planners and journals and things like that and of course it's purple and I was like what so I had to grab that because I've never seen a purple one before and then I grabbed her um, this is a larger version of that smaller envelopes I shared with you earlier it's got the pocket in the back it's kind of like a like a folio album or pocket and it's got that nice snap closure she could put assignments, syllabuses, whatever, a certain report or whatever she needs to do inside this larger one here. If she still chooses to use it. And then I got her just a couple bottom pocket folders because it seems like you need 50 of these whenever school year starts for some reason because you need like 10 per class it seems like. So I wanted to grab some of these before they were gone. Sorry my chair was squeaking because they're super adorable. I love that ad, ad, that little aztec -y type of pattern and she loves that kind of native looking, you know, Native American kind of print. She likes that a lot and these encompass all of her favorite colors. So I thought this would be cute and they're just the bottom pocket folder. So I grabbed two of those. These were $1.50 each. I thought it was a good price for um, some really um, poly portfolio they call it right there because these are really nice and thick these aren't like flimsier at all these are really nice thick ones so I grabbed a two of that print two of just the teal and then two just plain white that way she can kind of have a mix and I know she'll need more so we can go back and get more or we can just go to Walmart or wherever Dollar Tree whatever she wants just more basic ones if those pattern ones are already spoken for and then this is kind of um, oops this is kind of um, to go with her Christmas present last year she got a laptop that she can use for school um, and just whatever so this is a really cool case it was only ten dollars it sorry things are falling I have so much stuff in my desk it's also part of the Devoga collection. It's a laptop sleeve. Everything it fits up to 15.4 screen. In case you're interested in that, it's everything on this the big display with the lavender and all the teal and all the marbling. Everything was ten dollars or less. So I grabbed this for her because it only had a couple left, and I was afraid if I waited until she got back, which is she won't be here for like a week and a half. I was afraid they might be gone. So this is a really nice thick case for her. I didn't open it, it's sealed. I'm gonna let her open it herself since it's something for her. They had the Sharpie pack on sale and ladies, if you follow any planner stuff or any planner threads on Instagram or YouTube or whatever, you can see or just to see that or uh, like when you're at like the store or something like that these kinds of uh, packages are always so expensive and I cannot break myself bring myself to purchase it this was like almost 30 bucks just for this and I know it's well worth it sharpies are great and you get a lot in there but they had this down for um, ten dollars so I had to grab it it's the electro pop limited edition and those are all the colors for the electro pop and there's a total of 24 sharpies in here and this is for basically for the family my husband uses them sometimes for just things around the house 
and my daughter uses them for school of course and then I can use them for planning crafting general purposes like that so this will be for the family to share all of those but I thought that was a really good deal because I've been wanting to get those for quite some time now um I grabbed this for my daughter um when I this is at the front this is just a mint stapler set it's just office depot brand but it goes it kind of falls into that teal turquoisey category it's got a stapler and then a stapler remover and then also the staples inside are purple <laughs> so, i mean not purple our mint color so cute and they had it in purple and pink and white and blue i think and i didn't grab one for me because i have you know i have quite a few different size staplers that are purple and that kind of stuff so i didn't need one for me and i have a couple of these already but i can show you quickly because i have a couple right here um for example like I have this one it's purple I got that I don't remember where I picked that one up this is just like one of, of four of my staplers this one's purple so I really didn't need need it and then if I need a bigger staple remover I have just your general black and you know black one if they had a single one of this in purple I would have grabbed it just to kind of round off that collection I have but I didn't see the need to do that so I just grabbed this for her and and I grabbed this because of something else which I'll tell you in just a moment so they have this other section at um it was like an end cap display and it had all of this stuff in it and it's the office depot and they were calling it kind of their um i can't remember they actually called it let's see yeah it doesn't have a like, official name but it has like puzzle pieces it looks almost like legos or something and it's got like puzzle pieces and you can put these together and stack them it looks like little knobbies on the bottom and then you can put these puzzle pieces together. It showed on the display and you can collect all of the different pieces. They had this really pretty mint color. So this is for my daughter. And they had uh, the push pins in here. And then they also had the purple, of course, which is for me. And it's got it full of push pins. And then the puzzle pieces are in the clear containers. And these are the binder clips. And then there's purple for me because I use these a lot in my crafting. And these are for my daughter to use for reports. But I actually have a really cool crafty idea for um, kind of a... DIY decor for her bedroom so I will be working on that this coming week because I've got to get it done because she'll be here the 26th of July so be sure to watch for a separate video for about my daughter's room craft makeover because it's going to involve these binder clips as well and then they had other um paper clips in the heart container but I didn't grab those for my daughter because I didn't think she would really use those because she doesn't because I bought those for her before in like little small packs and she's never really used them so I just grabbed this for me and these are all little heart paper clips in there so stinking adorable and they also had combination packs where you could purchase the um all these items mixed together but I wanted to get a separate one so that was really cool so if you bought um what was let me think I think if, if you bought was it one or two or three? I can't remember how many items from that display you purchased. You got a free mini stapler um, to go with it. Well, when I went there, I was looking at all this stuff. And then I had an elderly man reach over my head. He actually was like, his arm was like touching the top of my head, my hair, to grab the last remaining staplers that were sitting there. He just like walked up leaned over my back almost and grabbed them as I was coming up to grab the staplers because I wanted to make sure I was going to get enough of these items in order for me to get the staplers for free. Well, it annoyed me. I mean, you know, it's one because he's in my space. I mean, his arm was like on my head and I have facial pain. That's not a good thing. You don't be touching my head and I don't like people in my bubble. I got OCD. It's like he's a little too close to me. So I didn't say anything because he's elderly and I believe in being respectful to your elders. You know, he was probably just getting them for his granddaughter or who knows. I don't know. So I didn't want to be a jerk. I just like, oh, okay. He's like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm like, oh, it's okay, sir. You know, I said it's not a big deal because it wasn't. And, um, it really wasn't, but I was like, doggone it, I don't have any more of the little staplers. So I'm like, ah, oh, shoot. So I know I didn't need one for me, but I wanted to get one for my daughter to, for her to put on her desk in her room or pack on her school bag or whatever. So since they didn't have any more, because I went and asked, that's when I went over and grabbed this. Because I was like, oh, let's get this because it's a little bit bigger stapler, but she gets staples and she gets the remover. I was like, ah, oh, it's a better deal. No big deal. So I'm going to the checkout, and then the, I tell the gal, she's like, I'm, she sees all of this, and she's like, oh, where's your free staplers and I said there weren't any left they're all gone and so she called to the back and the truck was there but the lady couldn't find him she actually I waited for like probably 10 to 15 minutes at the checkout and she one of the other clerks went into the truck tried to find these boxes but she couldn't find it I said you know what really it's not that big of a deal I appreciate you going the extra mile to help me I'm fine and so she told me to come back the next morning so I did 
and I apparently got there too late in the morning because they only had two and I, was, I should have gotten three for free, but they only had the pink left. So um, I will see if my daughter um, wants a small pink one to put in her backpack so she, so she doesn't have to pack around this um, medium size stapler. And if she does want to use this and does not want this one, then I will put these into my giveaway um, that I have um, I give away in my rack tote box I have going on that way I can kind of craft it for pay it for for other people because I think this would be something really cool that crafters could use in their craft room whether you journal or plan or you scrapbook or you just a card maker or whatever I mean you can staple ribbon and really cool elements so I thought that'd be kind of a fun thing to do instead of passing it on to some family so anyway just want to explain you know the half hour explanation for like a probably a two minute story I talk a lot, sorry. So there are those items. And then the last couple things, um, I bought these purple containers, clear containers. These were three bucks a piece. And I thought that was a pretty good deal. So these just open up and this is perfect to store some of my longer tools and things like that in my craft room. So I wanted to grab them and they only had four. So I grabbed just the four. And I did text my daughter. She doesn't know about all these other items. Those are kind of a surprise, but she was not interested in any kind of um, storage container. So I did not grab any teal for her that's not um, something that she would really want. And from the last thing on this massively long Office Max haul, oh, I'm sorry ladies, you're probably like, we're tired of hearing your voice. These were in um, on the aisle with uh, like the card sets and where they sell the paper that you can print for invitations and things like that. These were marked down to 94 cents each. I thought I had the sticker on there. And I was like, what is that? So, so of course I caught my mind because one, it was on Clarence, and two, that's my last name. So I'm like, what is this? So it's a um, promotional kit, and I open up the flap because you can look inside to see what it, what it is. And it kind and it tells you right here what you get in here. You get 20 envelopes, 40 fasteners, and 20 backers, and 20 imp imprint, um, what does that say? imprintable sheets. Sorry, there's a glare. I can hardly read that. So you get all of this stuff in this kit. It was only 94 cents. I'm like, yeah, I can use that for crafting. So I grabbed the last two that they had and I thought these were really cool. So when I get to opening these up for a project or something, I'll be sure to share that with you ladies so you know how I'm using those items. I think that's it, ladies. Oh, I feel like I need to take a deep breath. I feel like I've been talking, talking, talking. I've been doing video haul videos and, um, to uh, project share videos like most of today. So my face is really, really hurting right now. So I've got one more haul video left. It's for Beals and then this girl is gonna go lay down, watch some Murder She Wrote. Yes, I love that series. I've seen every episode, every single episode that they made, no less than probably 25, 30 times a piece. Probably way more than that. I love that, sh I, I love it. Anyway, so I'm addicted to that because tomorrow I've got a lot of crafting. I'm gonna get going in my craft room. I've got some um, more tutorials and stuff coming up for you ladies. So just wanted to share all of this goodness. So one, so you could go to your Office Depot if you're interested and interested in finding any of these items or and two, so I can get off my craft table so I can get back to crafting. So thanks for hanging in with me ladies. I know it's a long one. I'm sorry about that, but I had a lot of stuff to share with you. So happy crafting, happy planning, and happy scrapping, and I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much for sticking with me. Bye.